Hey everyone, Peter Drew here again. In this video, we'll be covering number one, how to set up a Hashflare account from scratch. Number two, how to connect your bank account. Number three, how to transfer BTC from Coinbase to your Hashflare account. Number four, about one year contracts and what they mean and how they work. And number five, how to set up the pools in your Hashflare account to get the absolute most income from mining on Hashflare. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so we've gone hashflare.io and click on register. Okay, so it's as easy as that. Now I need to confirm my email address. Okay, so here's the confirmation email, so I'll copy that. Success, your account has been activated. Now this part is important where it says, oh snap, to successfully withdraw funds, you may need to add a BTC wallet to your profile. So I'll go to profile. This is where your BTC wallet goes. So in my Coinbase account, you go to accounts, BTC wallet, and then receive. So you click on receive, show address, copy that, and then paste it in here and click on save all done while you're here fill out all this information on the right and while you're also here you can put your ethereum wallet in there from coinbase as well in case you decide to use that in the future so now you go to your dashboard Scroll down, and this is what we use, the SHA-256, and then click on Shopping Cart. Now, you, this is a sliding level here. Down here is how much you want to invest in USD or BTC. So if you want to spend $500, I'll just do 1000 that'll be easier. That means you are purchasing 4.6 terahash of power of mining power at Hashflare. Though in this example we'll do 50 bucks because this is a test account. So 46, 48, 50 dollars, 60. Cool. And you click on proceed. Here you select payment method. So these are your payment options, pay with BTC, pay from balance, there's no balance in this account obviously, pay with wire transfer, pay with credit card UP, pay with credit card C, which is the normal one, or pay with pay year. So to pay with BTC is the easiest obviously. So you click I can, I confirm the terms and conditions, confirm. This text here in the red is saying that there are fees involved and if you don't supply enough BTC in USD to cover the to cover the fees, the fees will come out of the balance. And importantly, in black it says please note the BTC order is valid for 120 minutes. If you do not transfer the BTC within that time frame, please create a new order. So I click on confirm. So it's pretty simple. Please transfer this amount in BTC to this wallet address. So 
So you go to Coinbase, Accounts, BTC Wallet, Send, Paste. So I'm in Coinbase, Accounts, BTC Wallet, Send. I pasted the wallet address in there and click on Continue. So there you go, you just heard my um, phone go off and I have to enter the code 24. Mm -hmm. Too easy. Simple as that. So that's paying with BTC. Now we'll go back to dashboard. Now do the same. $50, uh, sorry. Proceed. Select payment method, credit card, same as before, confirm. Credit card number, just fill out those details and you are up and running. So there you have it, we've done number one, how to set up a Hashflare account from scratch. Number two, how to connect your bank account, which is just paying here via credit card. Number three, how to transfer BTC from Coinbase to your Hashflare account, which I showed you. And now we're gonna discuss about one year contracts and what they mean and how they work. Okay, so let's talk about contracts. Each contract is, is 12 months. Each purchase you make is a 12 month contract. Every time you reinvest, you start a new contract. So your original purchase will be gone after 365 days and you will remain with the reinvested amounts. They will then disappear one by one each after 365 days. So in relation to referral income on Hashflare, you get BTC for referrals, so you can reinvest or withdraw. If you invest, 365 days apply. If you don't, it's just added to your BTC balance. So as I uh, noted in the previous video, I'll be just reinvesting everything for the, for the first six months. And at that point, more than likely, I will be pulling out the original investment. And then month by month, I'll play it by ear and see which is the best strategy. And we'll play it by ear down the track when that comes. And I'll be creating a video at that point in time to discuss the different options, etc. Okay, so that's covered about contracts. And now let's talk about number five, how to set up pools in your Hashflare account to get the most income from mining. So when you click on the little settings button here on pools, it shows you the different pools that your account is mining from. So we've got bw.com slash btcc or Bitcoin China. Then when you click on the pull down menu, that shows you the different options that we have here. So we need to find out where the best data is and that's what I can show you right now. This is at a great site called bitchain.info, which I'll show you more, more about later. So this shows you, this is, a, this is what's worked out over the last four days. So I'll just refresh that. Okay, so when we put these beside each other, 
we see btc.com BTC is getting the most profit and it's 20% so that's good ant pools 15% so if we go over here we don't have btc.com but we've got ant pool how prepared am I I've done the math and this is the optimum this image here this is the optimum settings in relation to this data over here to put in your Hashflare account. So we want the AMP pool at 45. Slush at 29. And there you go, F2 pool at 26. Click on save and you are fully optimized to get the absolute maximum out of your Hashflare mining efforts. Referrals, tools, you will certainly come across people who want to get involved in Bitcoin and this is one of the easiest ways to do it obviously. Just click on your link, click on referrals, press Control c to copy that link and you will get 10% of what people pay in initially. So that's very cool and easy way to get your uh, hash, rate, hash rate up. If you click on materials down here it brings up marketing stuff. Okay guys so there you go I think we've pretty much covered everything for Hashflare. If, if I've missed anything or you're not clear on anything leave questions in the thread below and we'll go from there. Thanks. See you in the next video.